What's up everybody? Welcome back. Today is a special topic. <laughs> that night with a girl. Some people are planning to ask me maybe, my God, what happened that night? <laughs> Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. If you have not subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you like the videos, then share it with the people who you love and like. And if you have any questions, queries and comments, then please let me know about my other videos or if you want me to make any other video, then please let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, take the thumbs up. And if you are interested to do some donations for the sustenance of the channel, then the link to PayPal is there below. You can go and do or else continue watching this video. Today's topic, <laughs> it is not about astrology it is not about the scriptures it is not about a girl also but it is about a very big danger the topic is very appealing <laughs> the tagline the title but i want to highlight some biggest dangers when we take to spirituality the problem, the danger is not of the spiritual path, but the danger is in pursuing it from the wrong people. Well, I am in Germany from last two, two and a half years. And this story goes back to January last year. All right. Which is roughly 18 months from now. 18 months back, one and a half years back. So what happened was, I have a friend from New Delhi, India. He called me and said that there is a girl from Poland who also has knowledge of astrology and other areas. And she's interested to meet you. And then I said, okay, what is she doing then? She was a student here in the University of Göttingen. And then I went to meet her. And she had told my friend that she wants that I see her hand palm and give some predictions and then I said okay I will do that and then I went to see her palm then I said that you want you wanted me to see your palm so show it I will just see and try to give you some predictions and then she said no I'm not going to show you my palm I said why because she said I have a psychic ability <laughs> By which I know who deserves to see my hand or who doesn't deserve to see. Well, then I was thinking, what should I do? Should I sit here or should I move out? Because that's what that's what she meant, that I, I, I do not have the capacity to see her hand. I do not know what psychic ability she had. And then I thought, better I leave from here because... If the purpose of coming is not as achieved, then why should I sit here and waste my time? Well, then I said, okay, if that is the case, then good luck. I proceed from here. And the moment I stood up to leave, that time she said, no, 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 sit down. You can see my hand. <laughs> and she was a girl from Poland. I will not tell her name. <laughs> extremely beautiful extremely charismatic extremely talented i think she was the topper of her batch i think but very unpredictable you do not know what she's going to do say or think next it's like staying with her is like staying with a sword <laughs> you do not know they will cut you or they will cut themselves <laughs> it's very dangerous now then she told me, no, no, I think you can see my hand. Then I said, but just now you said, I cannot see your hand. <laughs> and then she said, no, no, I think you can see. I, 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 I was just joking. Don't take me seriously. And then I said, well, then show me. And then I saw her hand and I gave her some predictions that, and I asked her certain questions that, do you behave like this? Do you behave like that? Then I checked the horoscope also. She had an approximate time. So... I could check the horoscope also. 
and then I checked and everything was over and by that time it became around 9 o'clock in the evening in the night but here it's still evening in 9 o'clock but that was winter I guess so it was quite dark that time and then what happened I told okay it's 9 o'clock I have to leave from here I have to go home <laughs> so I will proceed now and then she told me oh where is your home I said my home is not very far it's around one kilometer from here not one kilometer roughly 800 meters so then she told me that okay I will also accompany you I also want to take a walk I said sure why not and then we both started walking and when we were walking she was telling me that there was a place where she had gone this was some three four years back when she was very young and by the way that time her age was around 19 I guess when I met her last year so four five years means maybe she would be 15 or 16 that time when this experience she had she said to me that she had gone to meet a guru not a guru a so-called guru in the west <laughs> who had promised her that I will help you awaken your kundalini energy from the spine or from wherever <laughs> and then I will give you divine spiritual experiences very fast and then I already knew what she was about to say this happened that happened but I pretended as if I don't know anything of course I didn't know what exactly happened but when I say I already knew I mean that I know when you do these things wrongly in a false manner in the in the name of getting things done quickly then there is havoc this disaster completely so I knew that some big disaster had happened with her but again I asked her what happened and then she said to me that oh we awakened uh, the muladhar chakra which is the storehouse of all the sexual energy and by that when you awaken it you become receptive receptive to the sexual energy of all the people around you and then your sexual energy reaches to such a level which is beyond the ability for you to control now what happens is when the muladhar is awakened then the guru has to be powerful enough to take that energy and divert it ahead towards the other chakras of the body I will make videos on chakras and kundalini etc later but this is not a video on that but what I am trying to say here is the guru did not have the ability to do that and neither did he know himself that he has to do it <laughs> so what did this guru do he didn't do anything he just kept her like that and then she told me that that one year there was complete havoc in her life because when that happens, when the sexual energy is not transferred upwards, it becomes uncontrollably fiery, that energy. And then you feel like having sex with everybody. Even dead objects, animals, snakes, men, women, old, children. Maybe this water bottle. Because it is going out of your control. Because you are perceiving everybody's sexual energy. It's very dangerous. If the energy is not channelized upwards to the higher chakras. Because it's like you are planting the bomb and it's blasting there. <laughs> and then she told me that recently also I had done something like this. And then I asked her what about the other chakras. Could you go ahead? Then she said no, no, I, I got stuck there. Only from four years I was stuck there. And I heard it, I was like, my God, that's very serious. And then at the end, I told her that, be careful when you do all this. You have to be sure that the person who is giving you the guidance of the Kundalini, of raising the chakras, etc. has to be from an authorized bona fide tradition. You cannot do it. I'm not talking of West or India here. Even there are people in India who may do like this. And there are genuine people in the West who know how to do it. I am not talking of the country or the geographic location. It can be from any place. But you have to make sure that 
you do it from a person who is connected to a bona fide authorized tradition and then we reached the building of my the apartment where i stay and then she was interested to talk more with me on this regard but the way she was telling me those things i was like man I need to get rid of this person. Not that she was a bad person, but the way she was telling, she was kind of in a mood of hallucinating and she could do anything that time. Because when you speak about all this, those things are getting reinstantiated in your memory and then those, the energy starts pumping out and I could see that her body was trembling. Trembling means not trembling like this, but she was breaking, her voice was breaking again and again when she was saying she was trembling a bit and I didn't like those symptoms and then she told me oh where's your where's your room <laughs> and then I said my room is in the second floor he said come on show me your room I said no <laughs> it is 10 30 here you have to go back to your room that's not good and then she said, no, no, I don't want to go to my home now. I don't get sleep in the night. So let's walk. I said, but it's 10.30. And then she was insisting too much. Let's walk, let's walk, let's walk. And then she said, let's go to the mountains that side. <laughs> and I said, and she was insisting too much. So I didn't like to deny. Then I said, okay, we can walk for some time. And then we were walking and she was telling me her experiences. This happened, that happened, that her tongue came out when she was doing all this. And her eyes, the pupils went upside down. <laughs> and she was doing this meditation, she was doing that and, and there was complete havoc when she was doing all this. <laughs> and then at the end, after four years of destruction she realized that it's a it, it is complete disaster which she has invited in her life complete disaster and then after four years finally she left it but what happens is when you are talking about all this those things are coming back and then we were walking in the mountains and going round and round for one hour it became almost 11 30 and then we finally landed again back to my home and then i said now you have to go it is late it's almost 12 o'clock then she said oh why not have a drink at your place i said but i don't drink <laughs> she said okay let's have juice then i said i don't have juice also <laughs> and then somehow i forced her to go out and go and sleep in her home force means I, I didn't force her physically but I told her that no you have to go now that's time and her situation was very bad she was shivering she was trembling her eyes were red because I could understand those things are coming <laughs> all right so that's the story that night with the girl please be careful do not destroy yourself. Do not kill yourself. <laughs> Whenever you are doing any spiritual practice, be very careful. You do it from somebody who is connected to the bona fide authorized parampara tradition and not from anybody here and there. All right. That is it from my side. Wish you good luck, great success in finding a spiritual guru. Okay. Until next time, if you have any questions, queries, comments, then let me know. Or if you have any such story, then please let me know also in the comments. Okay. Until next time. Bye-bye. See you.